points so far, and he's shooting 56% from three. John L. Davis, so confident. Off the strong side passer, there's only a handful of teams in the country that do it that way. Davis sneaking in, he wanted three, he'll get two. Love had it intercepted, John L. Davis playing the passing lane to the rim for two. What a read. He's one of the best in the country. Wow, this defense really extending now for Arizona. FAU has not missed here in the second half. Follow at the rim of the challenge, and he's calling. Wow. He got it to one hand of Follow, who couldn't finish. Golden and Davis. Back to Golden for the first lead for FAU. What does Arizona have in response now? Johnson. Too short. Rebound trip to the wow. On the hit ahead, Weatherspoon says, John L, it's yours. All the 50 degrees. Sensing the moment there that he wanted to get to the rim. Now Rosado. Nice. Backdoor Davis. <laughs> to the wing. That three is well short. Second chance, Davis. He's flying everywhere for the Owls. And who? John L. Davis with 10. Hunting a shot off the screen from Golden. Davis, mid-range is cash. You see how short, quick, and come John L. Davis. He barely leaves the floor. Here it is again. There it was. Same spot, a little bit behind it, but basically the same concept. I'm going to go. Came from Alabama. He spent the... Freshman year that he had with Nate Oates. Little bump, no whistle. Davis, long range. Oh, he got it again. John L. Davis is smoking. And his drives are to the left. Stop and pop. Sam Cassell S. Get a hand up. It takes more than just one guy to guard John L. Davis when he is, he's in a rhythm. Yeah, this game is so much fun. The Owls are in rhythm. How will Arizona adjust defense? Oh, that's right. Larson met by Golden. Oh, absolutely erased by the big Russian center for FAU. Davis hesitation, fade away. Oh, he got to his spot and he nailed it. What did I say? They, what? Wait, they all get anxious. There's a sizzle. Yeah, right? it's like he's electric. He is that. So is this guy. He hesitates and he goes glass. Whoville in overtime in Las Vegas. Love this matchup right here. Love it. Larson just glued to him. Forced a fadeaway that somehow absolutely hit square. Are you serious with that? No. No. He's only 6'4", but he's so creative. But he makes up for that lack of height. Under 10 seconds. Action starts. Rosado. Wants to get it to Davis and does with a hold of Larson. Davis barreling down the lane. Got it again. 10.2 to go. FAU with the lead. Rosado got enough of Larson. Actually surprised that Keyshot Johnson wasn't a little bit higher here. Look how low Keyshot is. And now you give John L. Davis a running start. It was still pretty good defense. I mean, I guess Keyshot could have blocked the shot, I guess, but again. Shoulder into the chest, create that space. It looked like John L. Davis was bobbling that ball. Just get it up on the glass and let it fall in. This guy's Superman. Basketball. Davis at the near side. Won't get it. They'll go down the sideline with Greenlee. Greenlee tries to feed it through in the corner. That shot is no good. And we will play another. Five minutes. Well off the bench for FAU. The forward has it right now. He's a three-point shooter. Carroll has a big. He wants the perimeter jumper. Screening for Davis. John L. Davis into the lane. Nearly lost his composure and still got it to go. He almost slid to fall, Casey. <laughs> I don't have anything what? to add. John L. gets the switch on Keyshot. Keyshot's a really good defensive player, but watch the shot, folks. Fade away, hand up. And he missed that so bad it went in. That was like yep. half skill, half luck. But he certainly created luck. And this is Jalen Gaffney. 
I mean, goodness gracious, played three years at UConn for Danny Hurley. I'm sure Danny Hurley's watching this game right now, being like, hey man, where was that? Two minutes, basically. And look at the lineup that FAU has. Five guards for the Owls. Boswell, five seconds. Boswell for love. He shakes, he fires, he missed it. FAU survives one of the craziest basketball games you will see. In what really is the biggest regular season win in FAU history. Yeah. It, it's not an NCAA tournament game, right? So nothing can really compare to that stage. But this is one of the biggest stages you will find two days before Christmas, national TV game. People aren't doubting FAU, but let's be honest, they had not had a real signature win to say, yes, we are a national title contender. They got it today in Las Vegas. Credit both teams, man. I, I don't have a bad word to say about any individual or any team or any coach. It was a pleasure to be here with you and watch that. Here's the last shot for you, Casey. Yeah, so trying to get Caleb Love, right? But everything was switched because of the five guards that FAU had. A difficult shot that almost <laughs> goes in. Really, really remarkable. Both teams, like, they deserve a ton of credit, but only one team can win. And FAU earned it. They earned it, man. As of about the 10 minute mark in the second half, this game started to really pulsate and just pound and thump. And every second since then has been living at the very edge. And Dusty May and FAU get a victory by one. Correct.